Welcome to video three of our five minute tutorials. So we should have a uh, completed menu screen. Probably a good idea to save your game if you haven't done so already. Um, so save it and save it on a regular basis. Uh, I have found that this Windows version of Game Salad can be a little bit buggy. Um, if you would like, you don't have to do this, but if you would like, I've added a little rule to the uh, title here to turn the music off. To turn the music off. So basically, I've added a rule that says uh, when uh, the mouse button is clicked, the mouse button is clicked, that uh, the action to do the action will be to stop the music. So that when you leave this menu screen, um, the music will then, will then stop. Up to you, you don't have to do that. You can leave it running and have that same background music running throughout your game. Completely fine, completely up to you. All right, so let's very quickly try and make this monster whack game. So if I, from the scenes tab, we go to the whack scene. There it is, the whack scene. We're gonna bring in, um, make a new, new actor. We're gonna call it Moon, and this will be our background. Call it Moon. And here we have one, I think it might be called Moon, there it is. Uh, moon, which we will make. Oops. We will make our background. Drag the moon in. Nearly all of these images seem to have been made for an iPad, so we will approximately halve the size of them, and you'll end up with something that should fit on the screen nicely. You can resize it a little to whatever sort of size and orientation suits you. Allow a little bit of room for maybe for a, the uh, score sheet and for a back button. Because we need to be able to navigate back to the, the menu. So let's create that navigate that back button right now. So I'm going to add an actor and we'll call that back. And we'll be able to use this in all of the other ones too, in all the other um, screens later on. Yeah, there is one called back, I think. Yeah, there it is, back button. Drag, drop. So now this actor is now called back. Drag that one in as well. Resize to an appropriate size. Put it wherever you like, wherever floats your boat. And we're going to assign the attributes to this in order to make it go back to the menu screen. And that's simply exactly the same as we applied to our large menu buttons on the uh, on the first initial menu screen. So we can go to touch, drag drop for touch, and when it's pressed, what's it going to do? Well, it's going to change scene to the menu scene. Uh, change scene, drop that in. And we want it to go back to the menu screen. Um, and there you have it. So that's uh, where it, we've, we've started. Let's just make sure that works. Music off. Back to the menu. Fantastic. Okay, so let's create our monsters. So step one again, as nearly always, will be to create a new actor. Let's call it monster number one. There he is, monster number one. Now we can just drag and drop it into here. Right now he's a grey square, but of course he's going to change and he will be, um, he'll flick from being a transparent square to being a little character monster. Now, so we want him to flick on and flick off and flick on and flick off to a certain random number. So we're going to use the timer function timer applied and we're going to say that after bring up this little menu a uh, random amount of time double click get rid of that number five there a random let's say between two and seven seconds between two and seven seconds something's going to happen um, so basically we want it to change its image. So change image from what it is currently, which is the tra uh, transparent, to well, which, which, which will be transparent, to one of our monsters. And let's they're all named as a color. So let's use the red monster. And just 
So I'll just save this video and save the game as well. So it's a good idea to keep saving the game when you make changes. And when we've got this timer now set, we now want to need to apply a rule to it as to uh, when it's going to uh, flick between transparent and monster. Actually, before we do that, let's make it let's make it transparent. So if we add uh, to our monster guy, if we add the character transparent into it, he now should be transparent. Like he's still there, I think. He's still there, but he's actually transparent. So now it'll flick from transparent to red, from transparent to red. So back up here, go to the attribute, drop it down. There it is, like so. Now we'll take the attribute behavior of when the monster's image is Sorry, can you see that? When the mo monster self image is transparent. Is transparent. We'll then just grab this uh, timer action. Drop it into the do section. There it is. So when the monster's image is transparent, after between two and seven seconds, it'll change the image to red. And that's how it'll flick from transparent to red. In the next video, I'll show you how it flicks from red back to transparent.